Welcome to Crook and Kipe Extra Innings as tonight the Giants fall to the Diamondbacks 8-6. to six. And this loss was mainly caused by one bad error by Brandon Belt tonight. It caused a big fielding error, which allowed a few D-backs to score. Kind of got home late for the game. But from what I understand, it allowed the the go the runs to, to score and the Giants were never really able to recover. The winning pitcher of record tonight was T1 Walker, who who did okay in his major league debut tonight. He gave up four earned runs and six innings pitched. Matt Moore took the loss with six runs allowed, three earned, and five at the, and a third inning pitched. Neil Ramirez was not that impressive tonight in his, in his Giants debut. He gave up two earned runs in one and in one third innings pitched. But that left field hit, left field hitting is a big problem right now. Jarrett Parker is still has not gotten a hit yet. Chris Marrero has yet to get a hit. It could be a circus. And now the Giants have have made a couple signings today that are going to go a long way towards what's going to happen out with, which could make left field even nuttier soon. The Giants have signed Drew Stubbs to a minor league contract. And that could mean that they could be shortening the leash on both Jarrett Parker and Chris Marrero. And maybe Mac Williamson might be more hurt than we think. So we'll see what happens with that. And then Denard Spann was still out tonight with hip tightness. And if he's not able to go by tomorrow, I would not be surprised if they place him on the 15 day dis on the excuse me, the 10 day disabled list. That's the beautiful thing about this season. They have changed the disabled list from 15 days to 10 days which could allow more leeway for players to be called called up and sent down in shorter spans with the new disabled list rules. And then Buster Posey finally got his bat going tonight with two hits at went two for three tonight with one RB one RBI. No, 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 no RBIs. And then Gorgas Hernandez. What giveth, what goeseth. He went over five tonight with two strikeouts. AJ Pollock was the hero for the for the D-backs tonight with three hits. Okay, Tom Tomas went two for four. And other than that, it's all she and Hunter Pence is still has been red hot. I've thus far I've liked what I've seen from Hunter Pence. He's Looking like a, a lot. I was worried about Hunter Pence in spring training. He was not looking that great during spring training, but he's really hitting the bat really well the last couple games. That's looked good, a lot better. And I hope he can keep that, keep the momentum up. And yes, we do have a couple signings today. The Giants signed Drew Stubbs. And then the Giants also signed a pitcher today. And the Giants also signed Ryan Webb. Who, who was oft injured, injured last season from the Tampa Bay Rays as another scrap heat project at AAA. 
So we'll see how that works out. Both of these signings are scrap heap projects that are, you know, may, they may work, work out, they may not. Web is a, a risk. It's a sinker, sinker baller with a career ERA of 3.43. Yeah, he's maybe going to be more of an insurance policy, but they need to get another left hand, another lefty, not another righty. And then Drew Stubbs is another insurance policy signing, trying to maybe find another Pat Burrell or somebody like that. But I think he'd be more of a hitter who's going to hit the lefties if they were to call him up. But yeah, maybe. But yeah, we'll see what happens with Denard Span. We'll see if he gets back in the lineup tomorrow, or if he goes on the fifth on the ten day disabled list once. Things change on that. Also, tomorrow starts the PCL, the Pacific Coast League for, for the Sacramento River Cats. They will kick off their series opener with the Tacoma Rainiers, the Seattle Mariners AAA affiliate. And I think tomorrow the starting pitcher of that game will be Ty Beatty, who is going to be a guy to watch in Triple A. Look up the River Cat schedule right now. But yeah, it'll probably be Ty Beatty will start tomorrow night at Rayleigh Field against the Tacoma Rainiers. They will start a five-game series against the Tacoma Rainiers at Rayleigh Field. I think more, 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 likely, more likely than I tomorrow night for the River Cats. And then Yeah, the rotate. Yeah, Ty Beatty will start tomorrow. And I think Friday will be Clayton Blackburn, and then so on after that. Should have a better idea when 
when I start following more into AAA scores next week as of tomorrow. But I wonder if tomorrow we might see the, the, the debut of Nick Hunley as a giant. May see Nick Hunley in the squat and maybe see Buster Posey play first base to give give maybe Brandon Belt a night off tomorrow. And tomorrow I am I'll talk about that later. But let's get you around the league with score what happened with scores around the league today. Got the Royals losing. The Twins beat the Royals nine to one. The box scores come on. The winning pitcher was the winning pitcher was Hector Santiago. The losing pitcher was Ian Kennedy. And Ian Ken And then Nathan Carnes got starched for four earned runs in the in the start. The Orioles beat the Blue Jays three to one. The winning pitcher was Dylan Bundy. The losing pitcher was J. A. Happ. The Nationals beat the Marlins 6-4. to four. Tanner Rourke, he didn't look as good as he did in the WBC, so to say. But Tanner Rourke did okay in his first game of the season. He gave up two earned runs and six innings pitched. And Dan Straley, whoa. He put on a stinker today in his debut for the Miami Marlins. He gave up five earned runs and three and a third innings pitched. So maybe last season might be a might have been a fluke for Dan Straley. So we'll see if he can get it together in the next game. All right, and then the Tam the Rays beat the Yankees four to one. The winning pitcher was Alex Cobb. The losing pitcher was Daniel Pineda. And Jacoby Ellsbury had a three for four game in a losing effort today. But M Michael Pineda, that's another one I that's another one I think the Yankees are hoping they can get rid of before the trade deadline as they look to get younger and continue their rebuild with the farm. But to Games like this today won't help his cause as he gave up four earned runs and three and two-thirds innings pitched. And I really think the Yankees want him to go away after this season. He's just been too injury-prone for the New York Yankees, and he doesn't fit the long-term solution in New York. And in, in 12 innings today, the, the Braves beat the Mets 3-1. to one. And Bartolo Colon looked really good against it in his debut with the Atlanta Braves, only giving up one earned run in six innings pitched to get 
and striking out six against his former team. And then Jacob DeGrom got caned today. He did not get any – he pitched six great innings, struck out six, but he got – he got caned. He got – didn't get any run support. Can't win if you don't get run support, unfortunately. And then the Red Sox beat the Pirates 3-0. to zero. And Chris Sale looked great in his made in his debut with the Boston Red Sox today. Only allowed three hits in seven innings pitched and struck out seven in his debut at Fenway. And as of right now, this is looking like he was worth the what they gave with as many uh prospects as they gave up for sale. It's looking like it was worth it at this point. But the winning pitcher of that game was, but it was just, unfortunately, the only downside to Chris Sale today, it was a no decision. He pitched exceptional, though. Joe Kelly picked up the win. The losing pitcher was Antonio Bastardo. The Reds beat the Phillies two to zero. The winning pitcher was Brandon Finnegan. The losing pitcher was Jared Eikhoff. And then the Indians beat the Rangers in a slugfest today, 9-6. to six. And Francisco Lindor had a great game today, with, went 3-4. for four. And then Lindor, Francisco Lindor had two home runs with five RBIs. And I think one of those home runs was a grand salami. The, the winning pitcher was Sean Armstrong. The losing pitcher was Sam Dyson. And Sam Dyson got, yeah, Sam D Dyson was responsible for that grand salami that and now the Indians got the sweep on the Rangers, I think, and what could be possibly a playoff pre preview later this season between the Rangers and the Indians. And I think the Indians are hungry for that for that World Series title this year. The Brewers beat the Rockies 6-1. to one. The winning pitcher was Willie Peralta. The losing pitcher was Tyler Chatwood. And then in 13 in innings today... The Astros beat beat the Mariners, and I think they got a sweep in this series, five to three. With the winning pitcher being Brad Peacock, the losing pitcher was Chase DeJong. And Evan Scribner gave up two earned runs and no innings pitched. And Gaddis gave had two hits in his. So he's pushing the issue with McCann a little bit. And the Angels beat the A's five to zero.
our winning pitcher was J.C. Ramirez. Losing pitcher was Jarrell Cotton. And Coley Calhoun had a three for five game. And then Jarrell Cotton got roughed up. Five inning, four and a third innings pitch allowed five earned runs. And then Garrett Richard, uh, Garrett Richards made his day return for the LA Angels today. He pitched um, four and two thirds innings. Trying still trying to get his sea legs. And then the LA and the LA Dodgers beat the Padres three to one. And unfortunately, y Yasiel Puig got two for three. The winning pitcher was Rich Hill. The losing pitcher was Trevor Cahill. And Hill got hit by a pitch by Cahill today. So. And then the Cubbies and... Cardinals were rained out, and the and the Tigers and White Sox were rained out today. And that concludes your around the league. Let's get to tomorrow's game. All right, then our starting pitchers for tomorrow will be Jeff Samarja against Robbie Ray. You don't know what you're going to get out of Robbie Ray. I mean, is he... Can he learn pitch efficiency and then... I think Robbie Ray has the stuff to be a starter. It's just, it, can he get it all together? So we'll see how that works out. The problem is with Jeff Samarja is can he keep the ball in the yard tomorrow? Last in, in spring training, he was very prone to giving up the long ball during spring training. And it came back to bite him in the butt. Tomorrow, Jeff Samarja's key to win, key to victory, will be to keep the ball in the yard, or else it will be a long night for the Giants. Unfortunately, I think that the Giants are going to lose this series, and just the problem is, I think that Samarja is just too inconsistent right now. But I think it could be a slugfest between Samarja and Ray. They're just both mediocre starters could come down to the bullpen tomorrow night. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in tonight. Hope you guys have a good night. Get some rest. We'll be back tomorrow night. Just the downside is tomorrow we're going to have an overlap between Giants and Sharks. That's going to be the bad for me. <laughs> oh, I forgot. And, and one other score. Wrapping around the Bay Area, the Warriors beat the Suns. Warriors beat the Suns tonight, one twenty to one eleven. And they have locked up the number one seed and will likely play the Portland Trailblazers in the first round of the NBA playoffs. I'm going to go off topic here. I'm going to do a little bit of NBA before I sign off. If the season were to end today in the NBA,
In the Eastern Conference, we would have the Miami Heat play the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Boston Celtics would play the Chicago Bulls. The Toronto Raptors would play the Atlanta Hawks. And the Washington Wizards would play the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. And in the Western Conference, we'd have the Golden State Warriors against the Portland Trail Blazers. The San Antonio Spurs against the Memphis Grizzlies. The Houston Rockets against the OKC Thunder. And the Utah, Utah Jazz playing the LA Clippers. And that will get underway next weekend. But I thank you guys for tuning in. I enjoy hopefully I get other people in here to debate me on some of these. That way we can make this page more fun. Thank you guys and have a good night.